Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Build the Lobby 7. Today I bring you issue 65 and we'll be continuing our engine build and installing our crankshaft. The magazine today, we've got 1967, Hume takes the title. We've got Denny Hume himself. We've got grip and road holding. Good grip between tyres and the track is vital for good road holding and fast lap times. We've got the GX21 crankshaft and diagram here um, telling us its features and functionalities. Um, here we have some diagrams of the crankshaft installed to our crankcase with a detailed description of what its purpose is. So our parts for this week's issue, we've got one part, we've got our crankcase. Okay, key point here. Okay, you can see that it's got um, some after run oil. Yeah, it says that the crankshaft is a key component of your Rebel RB7 G21 engine. And you insert it into your crankcase through the two pre-fitted ball bearings. As the crank shaft won't be used until the engine is complete, protect it from corrosion, dirt and dust by applying a coat of after run oil. You can get this oil from your local model shop or order it from an online supplier. So they do not give that to you, but they still recommend that you do it. Um, I don't have any of that after run oil at the present, um, but for my other engine I will source that and... I will bring a video of that application to you guys. So, up instructions today are very simple. Grab the crankshaft, put it in the crankcase, and let's get stuck into it. So the tools we're going to need today, we're going to need a pair of hands. Very key. And we're going to need our crankcase and our crankshaft. So first up, you just want to grab your crankshaft and slide it through the opening of the crankcase through the ball bearings which are pre-fitted on the inside and pull it through like that. So you should see the crankcase should spin around quite smoothly. You shouldn't hear any rubbing noises or anything of the crank shaft against the crankcase. And once you're satisfied with that, you put it down, set it aside, and that's issue 65 of Build the Rebel RB7. Coming up in the next video, issue 66, we have our piston and cylinder liner. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode of Build the Rebel RB7, and I'll see you very shortly in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.